Rockstar Vintage is a new vintage store that recently opened up in Edinburgh, Texas. But its owner, Rolando Martinez, has been in the vintage business for over 10 years. Here's a peek into their lives in the vintage world. I think um, besides the usual stuff like setting up your business name and your uh, applying for the right business permits, you have to have knowledge of what you're selling. How do you handle and maintain the clothing? We make sure that we inspect the garment and uh, once that's settled, we put it through a wash with uh, special chemicals to make sure that it's all sanitized. From there it goes into the drying process. Once that's done, hits the racks and it's for sale. or special discounts you offer your customers? Well, one thing that we always do 365 days of the year is offer our customers here at this location our wholesale price. What you see on the racks is how we sell it in other areas. So if you were located in New York, you have a vintage shop, you want to order something from me, that's the price you get. Here, you walk in, you take one piece, you get the wholesale direct price. The other thing that we do for you guys is we offer a uh, Encore card. The way that works is for every $10 you spend at the shop, we stamp out a star. After accumulating 15 stars, you get free stuff. What got you into buying vintage clothing? I think it's really cool in the sense that not everyone is gonna be wearing the same thing that you're wearing because it's really frustrating when you go out and five other people are wearing the same shirt. How do you think the recession has impacted sales of vintage clothing? I don't think it's impacted it at all. I think if anything it's benefiting it because vintage clothing is a lot less expensive than going to the mall and buying a $20 shirt as opposed to something that's just as cool and it's $3 or $5. How does wearing Fitz's clothing make you feel? It makes me feel really unique to be wearing stuff from the past, not to be like bunny men with modern society. You recently had a grand opening party at your shop. Can you tell me how it went? Actually, it was very successful. Uh, we had over 300 people in attendance. So you can imagine a, a vintage shop being packed every square foot. There was somebody standing in there. We had a great show outside. A couple of local bands that participated, which I feel are the ones that really brought the people in. But once they got to experience what was on the racks, uh, it's proven to, to really work out for us. People come back. <laughs> Thank you guys.
Is Rockstar Vintage strictly retail or is there another aspect to the business? Actually, it's funny you say that because Rockstar Vintage, um, it, the, the, the main roots, the primary roots of this uh, business is wholesale. That's where we were able to, to learn a lot about um, the different markets and, and where vintage fits in. What are some of the shops and locations you sell in Vogue to? The locations that we sell to, we sell to New York. We have a distributor out in Brooklyn. We've got some uh, people out in Georgia. They actually, it's a real unique business that they have going on. They're in the fur recycling business. They request of us to put together batches of fur coats. When they receive them, they tear them apart, cut them into sections, and create pillows and throws out of them. We've got a uh, bunch of customers out in Austin. We got maybe about five of them, all up and down Congress, South First. We control a good chunk of that market, but it all comes down to the knowledge that we have and the pricing. Do you plan on opening future Rockstar Vintage locations in the future? We sure do. Um, as many as we can, as fast as we can, as long as we know what we're doing and we can provide the right thing to the customer, we're all for it. Do you plan on expanding your shop at all? This location we're thinking of expanding a little bit. We are limited to the walls, but we're thinking of incorporating a coffee shop so that people have something to do outside of shopping and also bring in some of the local scene. We want to bring in some local artists, some local bands, DJs, um, even painters. We have this cool patio area that we're going to work on so that we were able to incorporate all that. So we have Edinburgh now serves to that culture. We have a, a little piece that, that we can deliver and, and we have people with that want to, to hang out at a place that's, that's edgy, that's cool, that's got different things going on. What kind of future goals do you have for yourself and Rockstar Vintage? Well, one of the main things we want to do is provide the best customer service because without that, I don't think we're going to grow. And once we get that down, we're going to take all our combined knowledge of the vintage and the retail, combined with the customer service, and try to spread it throughout the nation because I feel that if you can satisfy people here, you can satisfy people everywhere. Yes, they keep it fresh.